Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Just came out here to check to see how well it's charging. Uh, the input could be a little bit better on them. Uh, it's not the greatest, well, the angle of the sun isn't the greatest, but apparently we have about 32 megawatt hours stored right now. So that's pretty good. It's a decent amount of power. It's definitely a start. Uh, today's project is going to sort of help with the power production. I have a bit of an idea I want to attempt. It's going to be a bigger build. It's going to be my first big ship I'm building in the game. It's not going to be not going to be a jump ship, but it's going to definitely make use of our surroundings. That's for sure. Um, I'm going to give you fair warning, especially the new people into the channel. Uh, this could be a bad build. It could be something that could break the game. It could break me. It could be a disaster. Either way, it's going to be one crazy ass build and it's should actually work. Uh, it is something that I really should pr uh, start looking into scripting about. Uh, I will get into it eventually. It's I've done C programming before, so it's just a matter of me refreshing myself to learn the commands and you know, the block IDs and whatnot, but I can definitely get into some serious stuff, and today's build would probably help with it, but I can always incorporate a programming block into it afterwards. But anyways, uh, what I want to do is I want to build a basically a, a mobile hydrogen refinery refueling station or ship I should say it's gonna be a big ship it's gonna be a crazy ass build it's gonna be heavy uh, fortunately because we're on the moon with low gravity uh, it should be a perfect place to build this so I'm actually gonna give myself plenty of room here sort of been trying to figure out the layout I want to do of it uh, I also gotta make sure I have enough room too okay start on this mound here or a little bit higher up so we are going to start with a big line of gear yes I guess, like i said this is the first time i've ever built anything big like this it certainly won't be the last i guarantee that and uh it's going to be basically all conve conveyors that can be hooked up with a, or to be equipped with a telescopic boom and that boom is going to have a drilling arm on the end of it and I don't care about those anymore. I haven't found any good suits. So it is getting dark. But anyways, I'm going to start with a big old landing gear here. And that is a big landing gear. I'm going to need steel plates too. I have been producing a lot of stuff. I went and grabbed a bunch of iron. So got that going through. I got a whole bunch of nickel. And as you can see, I have a ton of stuff already prepared. I got everything in here. Uh, the assembler has been... Where are you? down there. The assembly's been running pretty pretty good too. I uh, tapped into some cobalt and nickel and uh, all the other good stuff. But anyways, uh, this is going to be based around the fact that it's going to have six hydrogen tanks and they're three blocks wide. Uh, down the middle of the hydrogen tanks there's going to be um, H2O2 generators. There's going to be I'm going to be using all the conveyor junction blocks for this just to make sure everything's connected. Uh, it is going to be hydrogen powered itself so it's gonna have to have hydrogen thrusters but hopefully because of the fact that we're on the moon it's not gonna be too too expensive to fly but I'm gonna get a basic frame around here and I'll bring you back actually now I'm thinking about it really should sort of think about where I'm gonna put the tanks first because I want to have all the the machines down the middle everything will fit in the, down the middle I am gonna put a survival kit on here not a refi uh, refinery just to process any stone that comes into the system I also do have to get some container a couple of containers on here but I'll, I can use the small small containers but anyways uh, yeah so I want to have the tanks up one so I'm gonna put a conveyor junction there then we're gonna grab the tank which I got on number nine we're actually going to make the tanks a nice bright orange. Just because. Just because we can. And let's see if we get a little more orange than that. Right there. Alright. So now, the tanks are going to be going... Uh, let's see if I can get the right key. No, I don't. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. So it's going to go there. And there's going to be... As soon as I can... I really should rebind C to control if I can. I'm so used to going down with control instead of C. Okay, so it's going to be three tanks there. One, two, three, which will give us 30 million liters of storage. So that's good. And uh, let me fill these in and I'll bring you back. 
Okay, so I got the tanks in, and there's actually something I keep forgetting to do. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make myself a nice, shiny new set of tools. Because I should have everything. In case you wonder where the refinery is, it's up there. <laughs> so, show me my tools. New drill. Come on. All these things take forever. Oh my god, thank god I don't make these things all the time. I'm making a thousand of these. Although I should make spares because you never know with me. Okay, so now we have that set up. Now we gotta figure out. Oh, I gotta fill up my jetpack and uh, change my hotbar. So give me a second. Uh, that's the one thing I don't don't like about changing tools out is you have to actually change them on your hotbar. So, but that's fine because now we actually have a better tool or a better welder, better grinder, and a better drill. Okay, so now I want to get try to get the equipment in here, and I wanna. I guess it doesn't really matter if I connect on the outside or not, but I want to get uh, I want to get four H2O2 generators in here. I also want to get a uh, hydrogen engine because I've got to be able to charge this thing as well. Uh, it's not going to be running all the time. And a couple of batteries, survival kit, and then we get to the fun stuff. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to get these in here because they're going to have to go down. Uh, let's see, conveyors are only on three sides and the back. Well, I guess technically, if I wanted to, I could do something like this. One, two, three. And since everything's connected with conveyors, I can have the survival kit underneath and that won't matter. And that's four. Even though I didn't hear that one. Yeah, that's four. Uh, I will have to keep this block free because I got a plan for that. Uh, that's going to be part of the mechanic. You probably see it in the thumbnail already. So that's going to be the hydrogen generators or the H2O2 generators. That's actually the back end. Uh, I do want to keep the conveyors going around as sort of like a basic frame. Not that it matters. It's not going to be structural or anything like that. Keep these black and the interior plates. So let me go around and get this done. I'll actually fill these in. I'll bring you back and we'll continue on to the next part. I'll get those filled in as well. This is interesting. I never noticed this. I never actually used the, the conveyor junction before. I always just use the small conveyors because they are junctions. But the small conveyor junction actually has the transition from the large conveyor to the small conveyor. That's actually quite interesting and very good to know. Uh, that might actually come in handy with future builds. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I actually had to flip the H202 generators around because I want the cockpit at this end and I want uh, there's going to be a piston at the back and we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, what I'm going to do because I actually need the hop, uh, hop bar slot. We're going to go ahead and place the cockpit down. And then uh, I don't have any glass on me so we won't fill that in yet. But what I do want to do is I want to get that survival kit on here as well. So we're going to put that on number four. And then we're going to go under the belly of the beast down here. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be a small block version of this. Kind of makes sense. I was looking at the, the shape of it. It looks a little different than what I'm used to because... Sorry. I just got to go up and change the block size. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. So what's going to be is there's going to be a piston here. I've been uh, trying to figure out how I want to do this. There's going to be pistons and some rotors for articulation. Now, I do have space underneath. Uh, let's actually see how big those landing gear are. They're two blocks. Okay. Then I think I'm going to take the chance on this. I'm going to put another junction here and here. Okay, and then the piston's going to be able to sit on top. And the pistons actually do uh, carry items in power. So they work like the advanced rotors. And I'm going to put this in place for now so I know it's there. Oh, yes. Six. It looks so much like the engine. All right, there's going to be that one, and I think we'll only need one here because uh, they do triple extend, so that's pretty good. What color should I make this? Let's make it orange. I want to try to keep everything, you know, try to get some proper colorization. Come on. Right, there you go. I think I got it because it's actually a two-part thing. So anyway, so that's going to be the piston there. Now we'll go underneath. And then I'm going to switch back to black on this. So there's going to be a conveyor here. 
and all I really need to do is get a survival generator in here. So that is going to be, where is it, number four. And just rotate it so the conveyors line up. Doesn't really matter to do with that. Now we put another conveyor junction here. And that should be able to get everything all self-contained. So anything that goes through the drill, which is going to be attached to this boom, and we'll get to that soon. Uh, it's going to go through here. It's going to get to the system somewhere. It's going to be fed into the H202 generators. They should all fill in on their own. And then they'll pump the hydrogen into here because they're connected to the system. Any stone that goes into the system is going to go into the survival kit, which I'm going to have to set to something like 100,000 crafting of the, of the ingots. So and that's I actually did some testing with the refinery and it actually will crush the stone down to less than one-tenth its size with all the processed resources. So I'm going to use that as sort of like a, a buffer storage. And what I could do, because just because I'm thinking about it, I might actually run the conveyors along just to keep the system sort of connected. But that will be extra weight. Uh, while I'm down here too, I want to see if I can get the landing gear in here. No, oh, that's right here. Uh, I think I mentioned I'm going to be using hydrogen to fly this thing. Just because. It's an abundant resource. And hopefully, uh, hopefully the thruster will not affect the landing gear being here. Because I want to have the thrusters in the corner. It's just going to be, you know, standard four and up, four down, two left, two right, yada, yada, yada. All right, so that is that. Now storage. Storage can put the containers just about anywhere, and they'll fill up on their own. I could put them in the back here, put them anywhere on the conveyor, conveyor junctions. It will be a connected inventory, and it will act as such. So I'll probably just put three of them right here. Hopefully the piston doesn't affect it. So there's going to be storage. It's going to be the piston. So let me get all the stuff filled in, and then we'll start getting into the nitty-gritty. All right, so I'm changing things up a little bit. I took the conveyor junctions out of the bottom. I want to try to keep as much clearance of them underneath this thing just because of so the terrain of the moon. Uh, so what I've done is I'm putting that there. I'm going to put a, another junction here. I want to put the engine underneath, like the, the hydrogen engine. And just for safety's sake, we'll make this red just in case so we know it's there. And unable to place hydrogen engine. Why not? Conveyors at this side. Well, it's a good thing I put it here then. So uh, yeah, hydrogen engine, the conveyor junctions. Uh, as far as the piston goes, since it's going to be going up three, it's actually going to work out anyways. So we'll put the piston back in. We'll change that back to black. Well, it should be. Let's make it orange. I think it was originally orange to begin with. All right, now go like that. So that'll be there. Uh, yeah, put some storage in, on the back here. I was going to put the survival kit underneath, but I think it might actually be, be best to have it right here. So let me actually move this over. Let's hide empty. Well, actually, no, it's not hide empty. Uh, that ain't going to work. Do it this way. Just because i got to get stuff out of here because I was having inventory, inventory issues as always. All right, actually, let's fill this one in while we're here. This one is complete. Good. All right, and that is empty. We'll take that out. Okay, and then we'll put the survival kit in there. And because it's got a port on the... Ah, okay, I thought I had one on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's going to connect on the side. And we'll make this black. Now, where are you? Okay. Uh, sometimes it's so hard to see. There we go, actually. So we can access the terminal. So the survival kit will go here. Oh yeah, metal components are in here. Oh, and computers, yada yada yada. So let me get this done, the hydrogen generator, or hydrogen engine, and then, uh, yeah, then I'll bring you back. Okay, so the engine is in. It should be in a clear enough spot so nothing hits it, just like everything else under here. So now what I want to do, and this is something I want to try to get in the habit of myself because you know it's because the pistons and rotors don't actually have terminals on them there's actually no way to tell well there is but I guess you could go by the numbers but it's kind of difficult to tell exactly 
which block you're trying to control. So as I'm building each rotor and each piston, what did I need? I need motors. I'm going to get in the habit of naming them through the terminal, like through another terminal, because they don't have terminals on them. Unfortunately, I do not think so anyways. And even if this did have a terminal, I probably wouldn't be able to get to it. Oh, it does too. Okay. All right. Well, that's actually good then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up naming them. So this will be, it's not piston one. It's going to be uh, lift extension. And this is me not spelling it properly. <laughs> Uh, this is just for uh, like hotkey and stuff like that because this is going to be done with all with hotkeys. So on top of here, there's going to be is there going to be enough room? The separate grid it shouldn't connect. Uh, I almost want to go a little bit higher just to be safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put conveyor junction. Why is that black? Oh yeah, because I put it in something else in afterwards. Uh, go here, I'll change that to orange, put it in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a rotor on the side, but I want to make sure I got clearance from the tank. So I'm going to go up, up one more up. I'm going to put an advanced rotor on this side. Like so. Fill these in. Now, we are going to find out if structural integrity is a thing. If things can break on their own. Uh, being empty, it's not going to be an issue. What was I looking for again? Interior plates. Yes. But... Uh, yeah, it's once that drill loads up, it could get quite heavy, but we'll find out. We are on the moon too, so it's not like we're fighting gravity. All right, large steel tubes. I'll fill that in a sec. Where is that terminal? Okay, so the rotors don't actually have terminals. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so the rotors I'll definitely have to name as I go along. So I can go in through here, and I can go through control panel. Advanced rotor, yes. All right, so this will be. Uh, ooh. Actually, I did this wrong. <laughs> it's a good thing I thought about this because this one actually has to be a rotational one. So let me uh, fix this up, and I'll, I'll bring you back when I got something to show. Okay, so I ended up changing here. So I got a rotating, rotating motor here. I have a junction, and then I have a lift rotor. Uh, if you notice, it's kind of out, so there is actually free movement of the rotors, which is interesting, so I had to actually lock them, and that's good to know because at this point, we're going to be adding some weight to it. So we're going to go ahead and put another junction on here, and now we're going to put uh, I'm gonna put two pistons on, I think, and that's just to get some extra reach. So is that going the right way? That way. Okay, one there, and now I find it interesting that it doesn't actually show the, when you're snapped to it, it doesn't actually show the conveyor ports. So is this going to be enough? I wonder if I should get one more. Yeah, we're going to go three on this one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill these up. I'm going to need a lot of large tubes for this. Okay, so there's the, the triple extending boom, we'll call it. I have labeled them. Uh, why is that showing up as cockpit? Yeah, why are you showing up as cockpit? Anyways, I got labeled extension one, two, and three. Uh, it's probably because going right on the the top plate. There we go. Extension 3, extension 2, extension 1. So now over here where the drill is going to go and I'm going to place another junction block here. Oh, you see that bounce? <laughs> this this could be interesting. Alright, uh, speaking of which, saves always help. Okay. So now we'll put another rotor on. Okay. I'm going to fill this in. Hopefully I got enough to do it. No, I don't. So I'm going to go to the tubes, and I'm going to lock that before I continue. So now I'm starting to wonder how strong these rotors are. Well, we're going to find out. You know, knowing me, I always find a way to really test the limits of things. Small tubes. I don't know how many times I've almost flown into that ship. 
And I've come close to that. I actually hit that antenna a few times. Okay, so let's do that, that, that. Go in here. We're going to change this to. Uh, this is going to be. Hmm, drill. Pivot, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to be able to hotkey all these. This is where the scripting is definitely going to come in handy. I want to be able to set it, have it set up so it can go into a reset position. So it goes back to a certain state. All right, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it with the other ones. I'm going to lock it. So then that way when I start putting blocks on here, it doesn't sag down. So now, all we got to do now is put another junction block on. Uh, I'm going to put, yes, another piston I can get the rotation right. Okay, I'm gonna fill this one in. As soon as we get more large steel tubes, it's because I made a thousand of these things. Too bad I can't carry a thousand at a time. Uh, yeah, when they say large steel tubes, they weren't kidding. It's bad. poor inventory management, if you ask me. Like realistically, you should be able to put the small tubes inside the big tubes and save inventory space. All right, and okay, that's that one. Now this is going to be where are you. You're going to be drill extension. Okay. Uh, probably should lock these things. Ah, should be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, I'm upside down. All right, and now to get a drill on here. This is where things start to go horribly wrong. From previous experience, anyways. And yeah, I'll we'll keep the drill orange. Why not? Nice fit. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Sadly, I don't. But if this works, then uh, you know I'm definitely gonna be doing more of uh, stuff like this down the road. Doesn't look like it's got a lot of reach, but it does. And you know what? I think I might actually be able to reach that ice from here. I was thinking about how I was gonna have to ferry a couple loads of ice into this to get it to the point where it can actually fly uh, construction components. But since I got the boom on there and it has quite the reach, I might actually be able to reach that piece of ice there. Uh, was that? Oh yeah, the drill. And it'd be a good way to do a test run on this. Test run and failure. So, uh, yeah, I might, I'm trying to think about like hotkeys now. Because I will have to, in transport, I'm assuming since the rotors will actually move under weight, that that's moving back and forth, the, the weight of the drill could cause the piston to extend and retract, and same with the, the other end. So I should probably, I'm actually going to lock it right now. Give me a second. And already I'm starting to see an issue. I don't know if you see it sort of bobbing a little bit. Uh, it's always a bad sign for me. But anyway, so the next step is to get the cockpit and get some batteries in here. And oh yeah, let's actually get these thrusters on here. Okay, so I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be using hydrogen thrusters on this. So we'll get hydrogen thrusters. i got to fill in the cockpit. got to get some batteries. Uh, fortunately, like I said, I, I got everything all crafted that I needed. Uh, where are they? There they are. Batteries. Alright, so for the thrusters, thrusters are going to be black, and be one there, one there, one there, one there, and then you get the idea. So let me fill these in because there's going to be a lot of tubes and a lot of grids and a lot of other stuff. Okay. So I got everything all on there, I got the thrusters on there, I filled in the cockpit. I decided to put the two landing legs in the front and get the middle one out and we'll take that out after I get this off the ground just just in case something happens. Uh, but the only thing that's really left to do is A, get a couple of batteries on here. Uh, one should be enough, but I'm going to put two just in case. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Number five, yes. And of course, I'm going to be doing a power cell run. So uh, I'm going to do this. And then uh, what we're going to do is going to power it up. And I want to lift the boom up because I want to create it, put a cradle here just to have something for, not some, something for this to not only sit on. Uh, 
but just stop from rotating side to side just in case the momentum of the ship is still too much for it. Yes, I always think ahead because I've had experience. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm switching to first, third person so I can actually see what I'm doing here. I'm going to open up the terminal. Uh, I haven't actually... Okay, which one was it? It was uh, the lift extension. Uh, lift extension. Uh, I know that I do have to set the speed for everything. Uh, they are locked as well. They... Okay, so the pistons don't lock. Interesting. But anyways, uh, let's lift this up. Okay, yeah. No, no, hang on. Uh, just, uh, oh, there we go. So if I get out of here, you can see it raising. Uh, oh, uh, left extension. So that's definitely going to have to be hot keyed. Actually, what I can do is turn that off for now. So now I can get out and we can get some blocks on here. Ideally, it would be here, but I think. I guess we could probably work something out with this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab this. And this is one thing. One of the things I like about the block in this game is everything's on one. So if you want to start moving with different. Work, working with small blocks to create stuff at least you're not fiddling with the controls all the time all right so uh hmm how do i want to do this uh maybe we'll go with a slope like so put one there one there then we'll probably Trying to think of what's going to work here. You know what? Let's just actually go with the full block. Full block there and there. Like so. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's at the point where I don't think weight's really an issue. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the slope. Uh, put this around like so. As soon as I get my keys right. Okay, like that. And then like this on the other side and then I'm just gonna do like a bit of a slope a bit of a run actually that should technically be here a little off center oh well when is everything I build anything I ever when is anything I build ever symmetrical and I do realize I forgot something that could have been Disastrous. I forgot to put gyroscopes on this thing. Put the thrusters, but not the gyroscopes. And the gyroscopes will just stick right on the side here. Okay, so let's do this. Well, let me get this on here and I'll ring you back. Okay, I am pretty much done. I uh, got the gyroscopes on. I am putting four more H2O, H2O2 2 generators on here. Uh, just because this thing does look like a bit of a gas guzzler and also at the same time, too, I'd like to get hydrogen made as fast as I can. I am going to put two more batteries on here. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put them yet. Uh, I'm kind of worried about this, but it should be okay. And the reason why I'm putting more batteries on here is just because this thing is probably going to end up using a lot more power. Okay, so we'll do that. I'm going to need power cells, of course. Unknown signal. How far? Ah, don't, don't care. Last thing I need is another badger helmet, right? Uh, I did do configurations on all the... The, the motors now. Uh, I need plates. Yes, I did. I am lost right now. I'm trying to do like 16 different things at once. Not easy. But uh, yeah, I did get the, the hotkeys set up. It's going to be a little tricky to do uh, just because uh, you know I got so many different things that I have to work with. I have so many hotkeys to to work with. Uh, I am kind of worried about attempting to use this because. My experience with doing stuff like this has never been the greatest. Uh, needless to say, things have gone awry. 
on on a good day. Half time, it ended up being an absolute disaster, but I'm feeling confident. It's still on the ground. That's probably just because of the fact that the landing gear actually holds it there. All right, and one more battery here. I need more power cells. Uh, so yes, everything is configured. Uh, there is actually one more thing I did, needed to do, and we'll do that since I get this battery on here. Yeah. Ooh, that almost hurt. And what is with this ominous music? It's almost like I'm gonna be invaded or something. All right, there's that. Now the last thing I need to do, and this is actually something I forgot about, is we are going to put a connector on here because it is going to be a refueling hub state, a refueling ship at the same time. All right, and I'm going to go with something a little more noticeable. Let's go with a nice yellow, just because. Try to get more than two colors on here. That works okay, and we'll stick that there. I don't know that bounce. I did, however, also look into the the whole tension, like the the breaking force and stuff like that. And so the NM is actually a newton meters. Uh, one newton meter is about three quarters of a foot pound. I got plates already. Wow, that was going quick. Uh, so basically, I have I actually got the rotor set to about 60, 16 newton meters. Oh, I thought I was iron there for a minute. Which is about 85 foot pounds. Now, it does seem, seem like a lot, but that's got to be a lot of weight on the arm, so I might have to make some adjustments. Uh, needless to say, I will be making saves. More steel plates. Um, but yeah, let me finish, finish this up and uh, get a few things ready and we'll take her for a test flight. Okay, I do believe that I have everything configured and memorized where everything is. So I'm using two pages here. So I'm using hotbar two, hotbar one, or toolbar, whatever. Uh, toolbar one is going to be uh, the main lifting boom. That's going to be up and down. Uh, this is going to be to basically undock the drill. Uh, I'll show you those in a second here. Let's actually get out of here. So I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I need the jetpack. All right. So on the first bar, it's going to be this is the lift lift extension. This is actually going to lift the whole thing off the cradle. This is the rotation pivot, which is actually going to be on the second hot bar. And then on the second hot bar, there's also going to be the lift rotor, which is actually going to lift the arm up. The boom extension, which is going to be ex extending all three pistons at the same time. And on the first hot bar, there's going to be the drill pivot. And this is actually going to more or less un lower the drill down into usable position and on second page is going to be drill extension which is this piston here to get to those hard to reach places and then of course I do have spots I believe on hot bar one one to turn the, the hydrogen engine on in case I need to get some power and then the other one is actually to switch the locking status of this dock this connector port so I can actually fly this thing up to a ship that has no fuel go up to its docking port connect this to that by moving the arm and actually manually lock it from inside the cockpit and that that's in theory anyways uh, things for me never work out the way that I expect them to I do have some lights on here uh, just to see what we're running into but anyways I'm gonna do a quick save and try not to break the game I hope <laughs> like I said my track record on this has never been the greatest okay so this should be up Yes, well, could be a little bit lighter. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll stop and I'm gonna wait here and I'll bring you back when it's actually light. When we've got some sun to actually see what we're doing. The sun should be up any time now. Uh, there's one t one thing I should, probably should put on here. Uh, don't really need it here, but if we ever take this up into the, the asteroid fields in case we need to actually find out where the the elusive ice is. At least we'll be able to find it. And I'll make it black, just like everything else. And, of course, we'll just sneak it in here. And I probably don't have enough to make it. Right? Of course not. Uh, let me do that. And I also gotta go queue up the survival kit there. And we'll even rename that, too. Okay, sun is just starting to come up now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the survival kit here. And I am gonna... 
find a way to access the terminal. We're going to have to access it through here. All right, so we're going to survival kit two. You're going to name this Hydro. Fine. Yeah, we will go case refinery refueling the ship. Uh, I haven't actually looked into the blueprint. Oh, I've sort of looked into the blueprinting. Uh, if you guys want, I could probably upload this to the workshop. Um, well, I probably will. I, I'll try to get it uploaded after I upload the video, so you can check on the workshop and should be there. But anyways, uh, so now what I do is just queue up as many, many of these as I can. I don't plan on getting that much stone, but just in case, we have 30,000 batches of 500 kilos of stone to process. And with that, it's a beautiful morning. Now the question is, is this beast going to actually work? I don't know. I'll find out. Okay, one thing I do have to do before I do anything else, zoom out a little bit. There we go, get some nice sun on here. I do have to go into the terminal, and I'm going to just change that order detector up to max distance. But anyways, so that is our patch of ice we're going to go for. I have no idea what's going to happen. Let's find out. I could speed it up a little bit. Okay, and we'll stop. And now the... Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, like I said, I gotta remember my, my keys. Oh, I know, I forgot. I forgot to unlock all those rotors. Fortunately, I actually grouped them. Okay, so they're not locked. That works too, we could do it that way. I'm just worried about actually hitting the ship. I can speed it up too, but I prefer not to, because that's when things go wrong. All right, so now we switch over to the second page. Uh oh. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think that's that, that's that breaking force. Breaking torque. Let's turn that up to there. Oh, this is a familiar sight. Uh, let's see. Okay, is this a piston doing this or what? Or is this just me breaking the game? We're gonna find out. <laughs> oh, why me? Why do I do these things? I have no idea. Okay, uh, get back to the page here. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I am completely messed up now. And I got that drill right on my... Right on the cockpit. Alright, and I didn't even realize it actually tells you the speed that it's running at. Alright, let's get back over to this page and see if we can fix this mess. Okay, I am completely... There we go. It worked. it worked. I saved it. Too bad it's not working out too well. Uh, what was 7 and 8? That's what I was originally looking for. Okay, I'm going to go back to here. Uh, let's see. That's the wrong way. Let's go here. Oh, this is so shaky. Oh god, this is going to be fun. Alright. And okay, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry if I'm fumbling with the keys right now. I have no idea what I'm doing because I just built this thing myself. Okay, that's that one. We'll track that. So 
What's this one I want to extend? There we go. Yes, some automation would definitely be easier on this. Or scripting of some sort. Okay, now we lower that down. Is that even gonna line up? If it'll line up, it's not gonna reach though. We'll find out all the way. We've got triple extenders here. And this is why it's a good thing that I'm using landing gear. And that way I don't have to worry about this thing toppling over under its sheer weight. Alright, now I extend number Extend this one. I like how you can control the speed of it. Alright. Now it'll lower it again. Uh oh. That's not even close enough. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can still use drill for ice. Let's find out. And we'll turn it on. I have no idea what I'm picking up. Stone. Okay, and why is it not going to the survival kit? Is the survival kit even showing up in here? Hmm. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> because it's not going to show up as survival kit. It's going to show up as how to find a fueling ship. Hmm. Something is not kind of good. Let me look into this. Well, I can't seem to really figure out what's going on. It almost seems, for some reason, the drill is not actually being connected to the rest of the system. And I know the pistons are supposed to be able to carry carry items. It's not telling me here. I gotta go up here, and that's why. Transfer power and items. Advanced rotors, power and items. I think the only thing I need to do is maybe I should try to put a conveyor junction on there. The only possibility, because I can access the stone. That's not a problem. It's just it's not getting to the rest of the system. System. Because it will not go anywhere else. And don't know why. It's the only thing I can think of. So I'm going to bring the drill up. I'm going to put a juncture on the end and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's try this again. Turn it. Oh, I got to re hot key the drill because I took it off. Toggle block on and off. Okay, let's get out of here. Turn it on and see what happens. Nothing because I got to unlock the rotors. I took, I locked, I locked them because it was getting a little bit of a bounce. Like there is now, but it's nothing new to me. Okay, now I want to see. Okay, there's stone and it's still not going through. Why? That is interesting. I know these pistons are supposed to actually transfer it. Uh, let me let me investigate a little bit more. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the conveyor junctions aren't going to actually work in, uh, in this setup. I think what I have to do is I have to switch them all over to containers. Now, it shouldn't take me too long except for inventory juggling, but uh, let me get this rebuilt, uh, replacing those three junctions with conveyor or with uh, storage containers and see what happens. Okay, I think I have it. Uh, it turns out, yes, uh, the storage containers do actually help, and I will show you this in a second here. I cannot probably access it through the H2O2 generator. I can't actually drag anything in there, but if I go down, you'll see that I can actually access the drill inventory. Uh, it's not grayed out. Even though I can't put it in there, I can still access it. So, yeah, that's the thing. you got to have storage containers, not conveyor junctions. I'll keep that in mind. So now, let's find out if we can get this to work. And I've changed the hotkeys a little bit. On uh, here, one and two are the the lift. Supposed to be. What's going on here? Did I do something wrong? Am I out of power? My battery's dead. 
I don't think so. No, they still got power. Uh, did I get my hotkeys wrong here? Oh, well, it's going up, I think. Hmm. Something is peculiar. I don't know why the engine was on. Uh, I know I didn't block them, or did I? Hang on a second here. That one is lift. Oh, I turned it off. That's why. That makes sense. Okay, we'll turn that back down to zero. Yes, I did that because it was moving on its own while I was trying to build on this. Okay, let's try this again. Lift up. Good. And then I got a, the boom extension. Nice. And then we'll stop that about there. And I got the rotation on here. No, rotation is actually on the next one. This is going to be the drill pivot. Actually, I got to go ahead and unlock the rotors. Uh, probably do have to set that braking torque quite a bit again. Uh, let's bring it about a couple of million. I should do it. All right, it's holding. Good. It could go the other way. It doesn't really matter. I actually forgot to check the cockpit to see if I did any damage to my to my ship. Okay, now let's see how we are lined up. Good to be a little bit better. I'll switch over to the other bar. I got the rotation on here. Okay, and then I also have the boom extension on here as well. No idea how far it's going to go. Might actually make it. We might actually get some ice. Oh, look at that. Alright, we'll stop that there. And uh, the drill. Oh, that was raised lower. Okay, so then that was up back on this hot, this bar here. Okay. And then I think I had drill extension on this bar. Yes, it is so confusing. Let's actually lower this a bit. Oh. Hitting the wrong button. Yes, this is called a BC moment. Okay. So what happens when you hit the wrong buttons? There we go. It also helps to pay attention to what's actually saying on the screen. Okay. Now we go down. Now we go back up. That didn't work out too well. Now I gotta go back to this bar. Alright, let's see if the drill works. If I go to the right pro proper bar. I didn't even hotkey it, did I not? I didn't. Mm, it's probably better on this one. There we go. Give me that and toggle on and off. Okay. Give me ice. And seven eight was the extensions. And there we go, it just burrows right through it. Now the question is Is there anything actually getting in? I did see something. Oh oh, do we have hydrogen? This is too long. Look at that. We're f filling up. Nice. We gotta be careful not to break this. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. And there we go. We have a, a mining ship that's capable of actually fueling other ships. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, back her up. 
Ah, uh, crap. I should turn those thrusters off. I actually make the hot ketos. You guys, I am I am wasting fuel. Okay, we can put those on here. Groups, hydros, put those here. And turn them off, please. Thank you. All right, well, it's uh, somewhat of a success. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it works. Uh, hold on, I on the wrong bar again. Uh, too many buttons. Too many controls, but it works. Well, I have to say this is a somewhat surprising success considering with the fact what I was expecting. Uh, when I saw this thing start moving, I thought that was going to be the end of it. But it works, and it uh, definitely opens up new, new ideas for me because now I know how to work with the mechanics if they want to work with me. I did already end the episode, but that was actually something I forgot to do. We forgot to see if this thing can actually fly. It does technically have 1% hydrogen. So now what we gotta do is we turn uh, the drill off. It's not do that. We'll bring the extension back in. Uh, I guess you can just leave it there. That's the wrong one. And we want this bar. This is where the scripting comes in handy because then I can have like stowaway sequences where I just hit a button and it stows it away automatically it'll fold the arm up like this put it right back at zero it'll retract oh that's the wrong one it'll re retract the boom automatically stuff like this I love doing it can be a little complicated at times oh Damn it, I hit the wrong buttons again. Ah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm failing with the keyboard today. It's okay, I don't think anything's broken yet. Unfortunately, I can't really adjust how... how well, I can sort of adjust how strong it is, but it's not always the best thing. All right, so we are fairly, fairly good. We'll go back to this bar. Gonna line it up a little bit, best I can, anyways. Other than that, I think it's ready to go down. Well, except for that that rotor, but we can fix that. I'll bring this down. I want to see if this thing will actually fly. It's not full, but you know, I think I've already discovered that hydrogen doesn't actually have any weight. Get it back to two. I saw sparks, but whatever. Let's actually go out and have a look, make sure nothing's damaged. Right, so far, everything's okay because I know I had the drill hit hit my roof while I was sitting in the cockpit. Yeah, that took a little bit of damage just because of the drill, but all right, well, that's fine. It's fine. Definitely gonna have to do some upkeep with this bad boy, but let's see if we can actually fly. I can't go too far because I have a very little hydrogen. Actually, 1% out of 30 million is actually a fair amount of hydrogen. All right, let's uh, turn those on. Uh, if a hydrogen engine wasn't turning on, it actually flies. Well, we are on the moon, of course. All right, I'm gonna take this, uh, this gear off because we don't actually need that there anymore. And there we go. There is the hydro, what do I call this thing? Hydrofinery, hydro, hydrofinery refueling ship. Look at this, it's actually sinking under its own weight. It can barely stay up.
but it works. But anyways, yes, uh, this is officially going to be the end. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.